Hey guys, so as you can tell, I'm in my kitchen, but in another angle, so that's probably why it's weird this time. But what I'm going to be doing today is 10 kitchen hacks, and these are going to be really easy, simple, and they're really stuff you really need to like use in the kitchen and you you just find them really useful and you'll probably like take this and be using it for the like rest of your life that's like these i didn't even know these until like a couple of weeks ago so let's go and find out what they are so what the first one is is basically get any drink you like like i've got coca-cola here and then get either a container or stuff like those ice cube containers and i've just got a little con little box container thing plastic container and basically transfer your drink into one of these freeze them overnight so at least half a day and then get your cup pour it full of your drink i have coca-cola and then transfer your ice into that cup so, so for my second one i have pringles and you're wondering what can you really do to this if you're making anything let's need coating for example you need breadcrumbs or something why don't you just use pringles you're gonna grab pringles and a rolling pin and a bag that is a bit thicker than a normal lunch bag so it doesn't explode and go everywhere so what you're gonna do is get your pringles empty some out empty a big bunch or as much as you need put that aside Pull up that and grab like either put a knot in it or just hold it like that and then just get the rolling pin and just smush it all up and just keep going there are your breadcrumbs for example what you could use this for is you can get chicken coat it with flour then dunk it in egg obviously mix and then dunk it in this and these are original um Pringles so they're salty and they will be amazing on your chicken and then you obviously you can either fry them put them in oil or I would prefer to put it in the oven so there's not a lot of fat content my hands are really greasy now <laughs> Oops. so for your third one we're gonna make we're gonna make quickly um some cake pops I had to think there and all you need is some cake freshly baked of course i have my orange cake and obviously i have made a video for that before and what i'm gonna do is take a slice of that and put it aside and then you're you're gonna need some butter and some icing sugar I made a lot of mess <laughs> Then my mixture is done and still a bit sticky but it's came together like that and with the spoon just grab a very chunky piece and obviously make sure your hands are clean and roll them into a ball like that this one is pretty good actually and then obviously you can do all kinds of stuff with this you can dunk it in chocolate white chocolate make people out with it yeah and then there you go and i would leave that for a couple of hours to stiffen a little bit as well put it in the fridge so four this is our fourth one you're having an ice cream any type of ice cream or ice lollipop anything any way you call it i said that really weird <laughs> and it goes everywhere and obviously i don't want to get any chocolate down this top because it will probably stain and stay there forever so to make it easier what we're going to do is get a cupcake case any type you want get a knife carefully put it down and insert a hole into the bottom of the cupcake it doesn't have to be perfect and then just shove it somehow in there you go cleans up all the mess so anything comes dripping down we go into that cupcake and then at the end you can just put your fingers in that cupcake and just eat them this is the fifth one now and we're halfway through and this one is how to how to stop how to make your egg go to room temperature you're gonna grab grab a cup or 
a bowl, anything you like, and put lukewarm water in there. That is, basically, you put your pinky in there, and it should be your pinky's temperature, so it shouldn't burn, it shouldn't be too cold. And then, basically, it's warm. And then you're going to put that egg into there, and leave it for 5 to 10 minutes, and then you can put it in cake, and it'll make such a better take texture texture and then it'll make your life so much easier don't have to wait then then we have a really really nice one basically what it is is greek yogurt and some frozen fruit basically this is great for breakfast and i had it for breakfast this morning and it was so nice i just and it stuffed me up so much so it's very healthy as well because I really am what you're gonna do is grab a lime or a lemon and cut this into really thin strokes and cut it in half then I've done that I have all stripping everywhere I have one half and one circle and all you do is basically cut it in half and then keep cutting to get round circles what you're gonna do is grab this half one and put it in here go straight to the bottom then with your half one, you're just going to dunk it over there. Voila. It's just like a tropical drink when you go out in the summer. And it tastes so much better. Every time I cut an onion, I always end up with a tear down my face. One simple way to fix this issue. Grab your onion, put it in the freezer. Five, ten minutes waiting. Get it out, chop it up. It won't, it won't be that hard, but it will be easier you'll see no tears down your face. Every time you cut a garlic, you always end up, end up to struggle to get the actual amount off. You cut the top and that's too much. You're not meant to cut the top, you only cut the bottom. So what we're gonna do is this. So you put our thing, our garlic here, and what I tend to do is I get the end and I cut that off, just a little stroke. There you go, it's not that much. And then what you're going to do is get your knife. Obviously, if you have a bigger one, use a bigger one to make it easier. Put it like that. Put your knife on it and then press with the palm of your hand like this. Press it down and you literally just squish it and the skin comes off so much easier. This is our final and last kitchen hack. Basically, what you're going to need is your Pringle tube, So, you're, but it's going to have to be empty, so you're going to have to end up eating it all. Or you can always put it in a bag, like I've done. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and put a comment down below if you have any more hacks like kitchen hacks or food hacks or baking hacks for me just put it in the description below and i can make a video for them as well or put any videos you like me to do in the future so please give it a thumbs up again and put a comment and please subscribe it's either there or there or i don't know but just subscribe to me it would mean a lot i'm nearly on 50 subscribers i know that's still not a lot but it means a lot for me guys bye Every time I cut an onion, I always... I think I just broke it. Anyways, this is my portable charger and I love the patterns on it. 